Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Trading Card Frog and today we'll be doing some modeling. Yes, uh, last time we did some modeling we had a Rayquaza kit and today, well, we're gonna do one of these two and I haven't decided which yet, but uh, I guess I'll just go with Lugia, I guess, yeah. Let's do Lugia today. So this kit right here um, contrarily to the one from last time, does seem to require tools. Uh, as you guys can see here, well, wait, it says you don't need tools, what? Anyways, it says no glue, it says no painting, and it says you don't need any tools or glue. But the thing is, last kit, there was a logo saying no tools. And, uh, no matter what, last time we did end up having a few, um, I call them little bits, like little things left over from uh, when you take the pieces off the sprue. So I don't know what their name is officially, but it's pretty simple. Like as you guys can see here, the things come on sprues, like the pieces come on sprues. And the thing is that when you take them off of the sprue, there's usually a little bit left from the connection between the two. So here's the money shot, and here's the next money shot. Okay, so I guess this time I can put this in the back here. It'll look good, I guess. So we have two small kits right here. We have the instruction booklet, and uh, I'll have to pause and continue the video um, after getting all of these off the sprues, but this is basically the instruction booklet, and uh, the steps are not numbered this time, which means that I do not know if there are fewer or more steps, but overall it looks pretty much the same. Like, honestly, it does look very similar. Uh, okay, so, for now, I'll start off with pausing the vid, using some trusty little sprue scissors, and uh, I'll get these off. And we're back, yes! Um, thing is, the clippers were not that useful after all. Uh, <laughs> I did use them, but they did not bring much to the table when it came to taking off the pieces. So I would say that you guys do not need clippers to assemble this at all. Uh, although, probably as per the same situation we had with Rayquaza, uh, there are some little bits that y y you can see that it just should not exist. This should not be there. So if you want to have everything be perfect, I would recommend you prepare a mean to um, sand off these little bit things. Uh, I don't think it's going to stop us from assembling the thing, like the, the monster and stuff, but you know, on the tip of the wings like this, it just looks bad. So probably if you're, you're able to sand it off, because you know, clipping it might be able to do some work, but it won't be able to take it all off. So even the clips were not perfect for that. But we can't get mad at them for saying that you don't need tools because it obviously does not need tools. You don't require tools unless you're trying to have the most perfect looking one. But if you're just into assembling models and you're just going to see it from afar, it doesn't matter. And uh, you can always just send it after having finished your assembly. So let's get it started. You start here, I guess? No, that's that's not where you start. Yeah, yeah, it is actually where you start. Yeah, okay. So, let's see if this one is easier and quicker to do compared to Raikwaza. So, we have this part first. I'll try to move the lighting so you guys can see it better. I do like the little trees in between though. That's kind of cute. Anyways, framing is good. So now we have these pieces that you need to assemble together. Um, what I noticed is that there are a lot of pieces in here. Like, <laughs> uh, 
a lot of pieces, but most of those pieces are for movement. So you see, these pieces, they barely show up in the actual model, but it allows movement, and so it becomes important. And then you put this other piece right here. So this will be the tail uh, holder, I believe. I'm not a pro, but it's what I assume after seeing the pieces. It's kind of iffy, but it works, so we won't complain, right? So that's the first part. Next is, yes, okay, it is the tail. Uh, the tail comes in two parts, and you have to put them together after uh, clipping them with this thing that we just saw. So we have this, and we have the tail parts. They say to use this part first, so let's do that. And this part is on this side. So you see, it doesn't matter if you don't sand off this, because it's going to be inside. But there are some parts that are definitely on the outside, and those you should clip. Now, the thing is, it doesn't go all the way in, which kind of makes me a little uh, tilted. I'm a little annoyed by this. Why are you not clipping together? Jeez. That's not a good start. Am I missing something? No. No, I'm not. Although I should put this into the tail first. So this is the uh, end of the tail, like the fin part. So you should be putting this in first. And instead of sliding this, you should be clipping it, I guess. Yeah, okay. I figured it out. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy. I got this figured. So now we have a tail. Thing is, as I've mentioned, there are little bits that will show if you don't take care of it first. But you can always just send those off after if you're more into... Um, assembling than you know anything else and the tail does get to move it's not great though so i would probably sand off a little bit on the inside of this if you want um to have it move more easily okay next step we have the torso yes a lot of moving pieces in here again uh but there aren't that many pieces overall it's really really just a case of well, it's just a case of moving pieces. So this is the back part. This is where these fins will eventually fit, like so. But we're not there yet. I'm just saying, this is the back part. This is the belly part. They'll go like this, eventually, eventually. Anyway, so now we need this piece right here on the uh, the pegs, the male parts, will be on the inside, obviously. So you put these right here. This could have been one singular piece from the start, and it wouldn't have been a problem. Uh, this is not pertinent. Like, they, they, <laughs> they should have just made this in into this mold. These would have been better connected, and it would have fit perfect. But, you know what? They made a model that moves, and that was their goal, so there's no problem there. This goes here, so now the head will be able to move, or at least the neck, so that's good. And maybe even the wings, I think moving the head will move the wings, maybe. Anyways, we'll see. So we have the wings, we have an outside part, and we have an inside part with the little, uh, the, the thumb, I guess. It's not a thumb, but, you know, you know what I mean. And these could have also been just one piece. Instead of having us risk messing things up. But, you know what? It's a model. You're supposed to be assembling stuff. It's just, if it doesn't fit perfectly in the end, 
because you didn't send off something or whatever, well, you're going to be screwed. So it would have been nice to see it be one singular piece, but we'll just make do with, with what we have, and I'm trying to put a lot of pressure on it because it seems to not want to stay entirely together. Anyways, uh, enough talking about that. While I'm doing this menial task, tell me about you guys in the comments down below. I won't be able to read them while I'm assembling, but obviously I'll be able to read them after. Uh, so yeah, tell me about you guys. Do you like modeling? Uh, do you like to pose models? Or do you prefer painting them, like, if you're into modeling at all? It is interesting to know about your viewers, and uh, it helps me, you know, get to know what the community is like and how much they are uh, into what I'm actually <laughs> trying to show them. So, you know, do tell. I am interested. And it will help me better my content for you guys. So now we have done this part here, and this is pretty pretty well I did it very uh, instinctively but you do have to concentrate you don't really care about the order in which you put the wings in but you do have to put them in uh, with a specific method like you need to uh, contour I guess you need to do the surrounding part of the little pole that you put in earlier so now every time you move the neck the wings will flap so that's kind of cool and so next part is this thing, and you put the tail in, and then you close the chest. So we'll put the chest protector, I guess, is what it should be called. Anyways, it's what's going to hold the chest in later on. And again, this piece could have been completely avoided had it been included in the belly part of the model. Like, definitely could have been. But, you know, it's, as I've been saying, it's, it's a model. The goal is to model it. You do want pieces. You don't want it to just be a two-piece model, right? <laughs> That's not a model anymore at that point. Tail barely moves anymore. I guess that's normal, though. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll just make do with this. Anyways, belly part. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then we close it up. Okay, this does not require much strength, but since I did not sand off the pieces, sometimes the edges are a little harder to close. Like you see this, this is somewhat closed, but here you, you can still, still see the little dark line. And that's gonna annoy the fuck out of me later on once it's on my shelf. So I'm trying to put more pressure to at least, you know, close the gaps. At least, you know, it's a strong piece. And uh, I guess next step could easily be the belly part. But no, they're not even putting the belly in yet. They're actually doing the head. Okay, this is something weird I just noticed. Because I, I was moving the, the instruction booklet. But look, they put the down part of the the lower part of the jaw like they put the stickers on that but the upper part they wait until the entire end before putting it what the fuck like does it not have an upper jaw until then i'm confused anyways i i guess i'll see as i'm going through it but next step is stickers that's that's the main thing here and uh the jaw part should be this yeah this is the jaw part and uh, this is the articulation for the jaw like this is gonna go here like that and then you're gonna close it with this but I'm gonna put stickers on first and these stickers are very very small so that's a pain in the ass pretty much a pain in the ass very much so because, jeez, I'm not good at putting stickers on. I did good for the Rayquaza, but usually I'm not that good. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna try to put it more equal. Uh, equal. There we go. 
Okay, so I'm just barely off-centered, but I think I did okay. I think I did okay. So now I got that, and now for the uh, uh, lower jaw sticker, please don't rip. Please don't rip. <laughs> if that would have ripped, would have been very bad. It would have the bottom of the jaw, but like white. Trying to make it fit because like there's there's a step that seems to be written but it's not very clear but the thing is that when you put it on this lower part you need you see there's like little lines that means there's there are cuts and you apply it on that but you need to squish the sides for it to be flush to enter in there and so the little cuts don't show later they're actually inside the lower jaw so it seems more flawless that way you see what I mean anyway so let's put this in here like that and we'll put this in here Come on, there we go. Now clip. Jeez, putting a lot of pressure, but it won't go deeper. That's kind of bad. Okay, so I guess I guess that's gonna be it. So you guys can see, flawless paint. And by the way guys, these two little bits here are not part of the sprue. These are actually its bottom row teeth. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very intricate. Do not sand those off. Uh, here we have, uh, we have the head. We're basically just assembling the head, so you guys can see. But I won't be looking much at it because obviously the head is just two pieces and a mouth inside. So you just put one part in the hole, if I can get into the hole, yes, there we go, I'm inside. Then you put the mouth in this little spot right there, keep it closed, it doesn't really matter at this point, you're gonna test it right after. So now, why is it so difficult? There we go. Clip. Clip for Jesus. Come on. Front of the head as well. There we go. So we're almost done. There are only the legs and the belly left and that's going to be very easy. And I guess the eyes. And that's more stickers to insert. But here we go. We have a mouth and it's articulate. And when you move the head, it moves the wings. Very nice, very nice. So now we have to do the eyes. Eyes are very simple, but do not put them upside down because that will look derpy as hell. Now the eyes, although they are simple, it's kind of a bitch to deal with because if you did not send them off, you have bits that are maybe gonna obstruct something. Maybe. 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 I was lucky. They fit. I had to struggle at first because they're not flat. But you get to use your mind and your dexterity a bit. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's it. You've been inserted. Now, I don't quite understand why they keep the sticker part for the end, but they don't do it yet. They continue with the easy building parts. You have the stomach, the dorsal fins, you have the butt, well, the, the legs, I guess, the thighs, and the feet. So let's do that in that specific order. We'll put the stomach part in. This should be very easy at this point. There's 
not much to think about you just insert the back is very easy there's one two three so you put it this way and not the other way that's not too difficult there we go so now it's inserted and you have the dorsal part bottom is the biggest part there we go fits in clean nice and easy and under control there we go so we have a body now we need legs uh, the legs you just need to not mess them up basically I mean this is the front part of the leg it's the bigger thigh and this is the smaller part so you put the small part on the back like so still kind of holds which is nice and uh, this is not the right <laughs> yeah this is the right one uh, okay there we go it's gonna fit it's fitting there we go one leg leg and then the other one it's not gonna be difficult very simple uh, model to assemble but there are way too many moving parts that aren't just an articulation Com compared to the Rayquaza I think this model has more chances of being difficult but it's not as you know as much of a pain in the ass to uh, go through I guess so now we have the feet let's just assemble them real simple real cute uh, come on. Wait, are you not the right piece? Why don't you go in? There, no wait, yes, there we go. Okay. Gotta put a bit more pressure because it didn't fit quite perfectly because of the li little bits and stuff. But the two feet are pretty much the exact same thing and there's a guiding line here that you need to just insert inside first and then you clip everything together at the end. Don't forget the tippy toes. And that's eight feet. So now you put the feet on the legs. Feet on the legs. And the feet can turn on themselves if you want it more straight or sideways. I think I prefer sideways while it's flying. Yeah, more realistic, I guess. Although if it's you know, trying to intimidate someone. I don't know. But it looks a little more interesting, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure. The tail does rotate on itself, so I guess you could actually turn the tail completely the other, the other way and have it try to uh, look forward while standing up instead of flying, which is nice. And uh, the next part really is just making a stand and basically putting stickers we're done <laughs> wow that's nice so the stand i don't need the rules or the instruction actually to do the stand pretty simple you just put this in the middle like so there's a big side that's the side that goes on the bottom because it has a capital d form and you have this here piece which, well, I mean, this is going to be able to hold the belly, but the thing is that to hold the belly, it shows. Like, it, it really, really does show. You, you can't do much on that. But the weird thing is that this holding... Wait, you, you could probably put the legs on the... So the thing is that you have either this or that. You don't use both pieces. So if I want to, I can use this piece and have it use its tail as a stand, like so, which is pretty simple. Or you can have the other piece, which I threw and I can't see because I'm blind or something. We have this other piece, which you use the legs to help it stand as it's flying. So like you put it like this, you, you turn the tail like so, and you put it like this, and then you move the legs backwards so it has something that holds it in place, like so. So you do have some different poses you can use, 
Uh, this is nice. Actually, this is pretty nice. The head doesn't rotate though, so I would probably prefer just having it stand up. So I'm not going to use this, I'm going to use the other one, myself. But you guys can use whatever method you want. Thing is, the tail needs to turn depending on which method you use. That's the only downside. But that's it. And uh, yes, obviously, there are more stickers to put. Those gosh darn stickers. This is not going to be easy. The inside of the mouth like this, not easy. I think I did okay. I can't reach it with my fingers. My fingers are too big for this. I don't have that much of a huge hand, but I guess I guess I'm going to have to use a stick or something. Ah, wow, the stick's too big for itself. And that's what she said. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just... Okay, maybe maybe one of my um, brushes. My painting brushes. I do have some painting brushes because I do actual models sometimes. Not just easy build models. So yeah, okay. So that's the mouth. And now we have the eyes. And the video has been going on for quite a while already. I am sorry for taking so much of your time. But I think it was worth it. I mean, you guys might have learned a few things, and uh, I surely enjoyed it more taking my time. Eesh, that's derpy. Let's try to move the eye a bit. Nah, just stick. It keeps following my finger wherever I slide. Okay, so that's one eye. Looks kind of derpy, but it's not that bad. And the other eye. See, this sticker is so small, I can barely have it on the tip of my finger and have any loose ends to apply it with. Like, it's just so stupid. I need bigger models or smaller fingers, but I can't have both. I could use some uh, long nose... Uh, I guess I could use some long nose uh, pincers and stuff. Like I could probably use these. These would probably help me a lot doing the little details like that. But I feel like since it says no tools, and I ended up proving that you don't need tools, Kind of feels bad to, you know, use a tool at the end. But there we go. We have its face. Craw! Look at that. Craw! So, I just put it here. And lower its head. Hopefully it didn't break anything. I heard a clap. Okay, no, it's just the head. It's pretty stuck. There we go. So we have... The Lugia model, assembled for your entertainment and for the review. Basically, I do like the model. Uh, the face is a little derpy, but you know what? It's not that bad. It's honestly not that bad. And uh, it is very articulate, which some people might like a lot. I like it. And uh, you have different stands, so you know you're not stuck doing one pose which is not something the box very much portrays. Like, it, it, it does give you a small picture like this, but when you order it online, most times the person selling it just shows you this and the model. So it does help to have a review like this, I believe, and I hope I have helped someone out there with their purchases. And so until next time, guys, it has been a pleasure, and uh, see ya. Thank you for watching the video, while you're here, please subscribe, but also beat up that like button and share with your friends. Also, visit my Instagram account, the TCG Frog, and hit my eBay store if you want some sweet deals, you never know what you will find.